Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma Inc. So we are going to do Virgo, uh, sorry, I was saying Virgo Sagittarius. Maybe you're dealing with the Sagittarius, some of you, that's why. Okay, so we're going to do Virgo, March bonus reads. Let's see messages for you guys. Let's see what is coming up for the rest of this month. This is a general reading, so guys, take however this resonates and for more accurate personal readings that are available book with me for personal readings or white prayer based spells which are harmless but is for your higher skirt on whatsapp instagram or email link is in the description box below you can check out the description in the uh, box and also other remedies are also available for daily, monthly and yearly horoscopes and crystal related updates, if you want to buy some bracelets, original crystals, then also you can order from my place. And uh, yeah, do follow me on Instagram to stay updated about my offers. And subscribe to my channel for more videos on your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Virgo. Very free flowing energy, Virgos. <clears throat> Chariot, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. And we have, oh, this is a clear message. Someone is falling in love with you. Yeah, I'm feeling that vibe, feeling that energy. Virgo, you're unaware of this. I feel like you may be seeing them as a friend, but they're coming very quick towards you. Like, I feel like they're pretty um, consistent in their actions. Like when they're coming towards you, they're calling you, they're texting you very consistently. And you might be thinking like, okay, this is a friend. No, this is not a friend. They think more for you, okay? They feel something more. They want to be happy because you're their happiness. Right now, you're the one that makes them super happy. And I feel like you are very powerful wherever you are, Virgos. You're an energy to manifest anything that you want. So go for it, Virgos. Right now, you're in energy to manifest anything and um, there are three major arcanas, which three of them are telling me that whatever you're working hard on, it's taking off really fast, okay? And it's also your confidence that you believe in yourself and that attractiveness is just taken over uh, take, uh, by this person. So I feel like this person is... Um, like daydreaming, fantasizing about how this would be when you guys are together. Younger energy or youthful energy, their heart is, um, you know, beating fast. When they see you, when they think about you, their heart beats fast. This is exciting. Uh, could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, specifically Pisces. Cancer also, okay, let's take up Scorpio as well. But um, could be Leo, very strong Leo energy and Scorpio and Pisces and Cancer. Uh, Leo and Cancer very strong. They may be having this in their charts. I feel this person's thinking already about falling in love with you and how it would be like having kids with you. They've gone so far. Okay. So you on the other hand, Virgo, you might be looking elsewhere about for your love life. You might be searching somewhere else. Okay. You don't know the person near you is the one uh, that you should give them a chance. <clears throat> This happy new beginning happening, Virgos, you're quite excited about this new exciting uh, beginning, like start, and you just want to be happy, and that's that's what is coming for you. You're manifesting a lot of happiness, relationship, love, okay, and I see you're quite focused over your career, okay, your career is your priority because you don't want to mess anything up by ignoring your work you're quite consistent with your work and you want to focus on your work even more but i feel like the love part will kind of distract you at times from a career but don't worry because you're just focusing on your work whoever is into you is going to come towards you on it so this is coming very fast a message is coming in they're going to confess their feelings i'm sensing it more strongly than this is in the cards okay then the cards i'm sensing 
feeling it I'm, I'm just know this person's quite crazy about you okay and they're going to tell you in a message this is coming you intuitively getting the vibe okay <clears throat> is going to make you fall in love this offer is going to change your feelings okay and i feel like the moment this person brings you an offer you you're going to be super happy and you're going to fall in love quick and uh, i feel like there's going to be a beautiful carefree connection also see like you're going with the flow you're not restricting things you're not controlling things you're not worried about the outcome you're just going with the flow and that is the best part about it what was I feel like communication is coming in the moment uh, this person communicates with you, you'll be like, okay, they love me, okay. You will reciprocate it with a lot of love. You will give them love twice as more than they are showing you, okay. So uh, you're going to be very, very excited about new tur turn of events. And I feel this person will get super obsessed with you. OMG, damn. There's going to be super love. This is a healing connection. You guys are meant for each other. This is a soulmate bond. I feel like you guys are going to heal yourself, each other immensely. King of Cups and Queen of Cups is like a true soulmate. And then there's a devil, which means that you guys are going to, uh, you know, uh, get attached to each other like nothing else. Like you guys are going to be so attracted and nobody else can uh, pull you guys away from each other. So that's how you guys are going to be sticking with each other. Okay. You guys will be each other's survival, I feel. This person's always thinking about you. I feel like Virgos, this person's obsessed. Like they've been thinking about you, stalking you on social media, wondering what's going on in your life. And as if you're a book, okay? They're reading you with so much excitement. And I feel like the more they get to know you, the more they're falling in love. There's a lot of emotions you guys, specifically this person is having for you or will have. So I do see pregnancy with them, marriage. And Ace of Cups is definitely telling me that there is a lot of love. Like, I just see clearly that there is not, you know, it's not less. It's a lot, <laughs> right? It's a lot. Like, you never expected this. That That's the kind of love that's coming for you. So, Scorpio Pisces, Cancer Energy, Virgo Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, uh, I feel like you guys are going to be emotionally super in touch, super in love with each other. And there's this new start, there's a new beginning. You guys are going to experience a kind of relationship that very rare people have experienced. Like there's so much of commitment and love happening. Like, I can't even tell you. Okay. Finally, you're going to get married to this person, this partnership, and I feel like there's a lot of abundance that's also coming along with this person. Okay, major changes in your life here. I see pregnancy very strong, like you're going to have babies with them. There's a lot of flirting going on, and this is your true love. Oh man, damn, I'm excited to read this. This is so amazing reading unrequited love situation healing family issues past life relationship reconciliation <clears throat> why do i feel that this is not a past person this is not an ex there's a person that was your past and it is unrequited love situation okay so don't fall for the past okay someone who's coming into your life is a new completely new person it's just that you need to just clear the energy of the past okay and the unrequited love situation reconciliation i do see someone from the past trying to come back into your life and spoiling that happiness so if you're dealing with two people in the past should be completely ignored there is a very very rare chance that the past is changing and coming back but i don't see that for many of you for just one out of hundred so flirting, I do see like someone new that is that is your true love is coming and it's going to heal you immensely. Like whatever has uh, gone bad in the past with, with your ex, it is going to be healed in this connection. Yep. 
you will be thankful to the universe for this relationship you don't want to go back into the past the past will ask you come back no you will be like i'm done i don't want this thank you i have enough be sure quite confident about yourself money increasing i feel like you feel solid uh grounded and quite secure in your money in in whatever you have like there's a new beginning absolutely new beginning and uh you're moving towards spirituality there's this your god god is listening to you your wishes because you're asking for them genuinely like sincere wishes are going to be answered your health is going to be much better than before and where it goes okay the answers you need are coming you know exactly what is to be done gemini person yeah there's more spirituality is coming in your practical life i also see you need to make more practical plans about future and the stuff cycle with the past person that is completely going to end you're the one that's going to end this completely all right truth i feel like with the past you're going to know what is meant for you like you're going to you know you your eyes will be opened you will know that okay of this past person sh i should just let go off because the truth is out this is not giving me that kind of consistency in love that is this new person giving me so you will be able to differentiate and compare and get to know that who is good for you and who is not the truth will be out about so many people around you and about your love life as well and you will get clarity about who you want and where you need to go i'm going to uh, i'm going to see from aries to pisces as see a person how do they feel see you are having massive change major transformation aries feels rejected you don't want them anymore Taurus is waiting for the offer. I feel like this person is connected to you through social media. Gemini ending this, moving on. Cancer coming back from the past. Leo feels blocked, but is overthinking about this. Virgo wants to come towards you, but hesitant. Uh, Libra wants to change things with you. The um, Scorpio is moving on because they feel you don't want them anymore. You don't like them, and then there's Sagittarius been thinking a lot about you, but not taking action. Capricorn is asking third person about you, maybe at your workplace. Uh, Aquarius sees you, sees there is a potential if they trust you. Pisces wants commitment, long term, and marriage, kids. So that is about it. Um, Virgos, I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell and comment down below. Let me know how this resonated. I'll see you next time. More videos like this.